In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 9, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball basketball games after fully watching this video. Or thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Old Dominion vs. Arizona The Old Dominion Monarchs are set to face the Arizona Wildcats in an interconference matchup scheduled for Saturday afternoon. Old Dominion, coming off a challenging season where they suffered 25 losses, started this season with a defeat to Buffalo, setting a tone that suggests they may face similar struggles this year. Arizona, on the other hand, is building on a solid foundation from last season when they achieved a strong 15-5 record in Pac-12 play. The Wildcats opened their new season with a victory over Canisius, showing glimpses of the offensive firepower they are known for. Arizona's offense, featuring skilled scorers like Caleb Love and Philip DeLorso, gives the Wildcats a substantial advantage in this game. The Monarchs have displayed defensive weaknesses, especially in defending against three-point shooting and matching the pace of high-scoring opponents. Arizona's well-rounded offense, marked by effective ball movement and versatility in scoring, aligns well against an Old Dominion defense that has struggled with consistency. This imbalance suggests that Arizona can both score efficiently and control the game's rhythm, putting Old Dominion at a significant disadvantage throughout the matchup. The question remains as to how Old Dominion will respond after their tough season opening loss. Had they been facing a weaker opponent, it might be plausible to expect a strong comeback performance to erase the sting of that initial defeat. However, against a talented Arizona team, it seems more likely that Old Dominion will experience continued frustration and difficulty. Arizona's roster is rich in talent and depth, and it's hard to imagine and Old Dominion being able to keep pace with them for the entire 40 minutes. Consequently, the Arizona Wildcats to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Arizona's rapid pace of play is a driving force behind their high-scoring games, as they frequently push the ball up the court to maximize their scoring opportunities. This style not only puts pressure on their opponents, but often compels them to speed up and play at Arizona's pace. Old Dominion, which has already shown lapses defensively, is likely to struggle with Arizona's fast tempo, potentially allowing points at a high rate. Arizona's commitment to quick transitions and three-point shooting creates numerous scoring chances on both ends of the court, as especially in a high-tempo game. In their season opener, Old Dominion managed to put up 82 points, showing some offensive promise with a 40% success rate from three-point range. Meanwhile, Canisius managed to make 38.5% of their three-point attempts against Arizona's defense in their first game, indicating potential vulnerabilities in Arizona's perimeter defense. Nonetheless, Arizona's offense is expected to be one of the most formidable in Division I this season, currently ranked 10th in adjusted offensive efficiency. Their first game saw them score over 90 points, demonstrating that they're capable of hitting impressive numbers consistently. Old Dominion, by contrast, ranks 258th in adjusted defensive efficiency, suggesting they may struggle to contain Arizona's relentless offense. Furthermore, the total has gone over in five of the last six games for the Monarchs, which points to another high-scoring game in this one. Given both teams' tendencies, a high-scoring affair seems highly likely. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. New Hampshire vs. Connecticut The New Hampshire Wildcats and the Connecticut Huskies will face each other on Saturday in a college basketball matchup at the XL Center. Both teams are coming off strong season openers, making this an exciting early season contest with fans eager to see how each team performs against tougher competition. The Connecticut Huskies are entering this season with high hopes and championship aspirations, and they certainly lived up to those expectations in their opening game. Connecticut took on Sacred Heart and delivered an impressive offensive showcase 
days, putting up 92 points and achieving a lopsided victory. Their defense also proved effective, holding Sacred Heart to just 56 points. By halftime, Connecticut had already secured a strong 46-31 lead, and in the second half, their defense stepped up even further, widening the gap. As a team, the Huskies shot a solid 51.6% from the field, a level of efficiency that will make them a formidable opponent if they maintain it. Impressively, Connecticut had four players contribute at least 15 points each, underscoring their depth and offensive versatility. New Hampshire had an equally promising start to their season with a comfortable win over UMass Boston. The Wildcats put up an impressive 99 points, while their defense held UMass Boston to 69 points, resulting in a dominant win. By halftime, they led 50-31 and maintained that momentum throughout the game. One of the positives from this opener for New Hampshire was the opportunity to get significant playing time for many players, which should serve them well as the season progresses. Five different players scored at least 11 points, showing the team's balanced scoring potential and allowing them to experiment with different lineups and combinations. The point spread for this game is substantial, yet Connecticut's recent performance suggests they may be capable of covering it. Against Sacred Heart, Connecticut comfortably covered a similar spread, and last season, they secured multiple 30-point victories over non-conference opponents who struggled to keep pace. New Hampshire's defense, however, is a point of concern. In their opener, they allowed UMass Boston to score 103 points, granting them nearly uncontested access to the basket. While New Hampshire looked strong offensively in that game, competing against UMass Boston is not the same as matching up against a team of Connecticut's caliber. Connecticut's 92 points in their first game and the depth of their roster make them a challenging opponent for New Hampshire. It is unlikely New Hampshire will score as freely as they did in their opener, and this difference in offensive firepower may ultimately determine the outcome. It's conceivable that Connecticut could have the game well in hand by halftime, and given the depth and talent disparity, picking Connecticut to win and cover the spread as favorite seems like a solid choice for this matchup. So far this season, New Hampshire is averaging 86.5 points per game on 45.2% shooting from the field, 41.7% from beyond the arc, and 63.4% from the free throw line. Meanwhile, Connecticut is averaging 92 points per game with a shooting percentage of 51.6% from the field, 41.9% from three-point range, and 65.2% from the free throw line. Given these statistics, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Auburn vs. Houston, two of the most elite teams in college basketball will clash in a much-anticipated showdown this Saturday when the 11th-ranked Auburn Tigers take on the 4th-ranked Houston Cougars at the Toyota Center in Houston. Texas. Auburn enters this matchup fresh off an impressive season opener with a 1-0 record, looking strong as one of the favorites to claim the Southeastern Conference title this year. Meanwhile, Houston, now in its second season competing in the highly competitive Big 12 Conference, is equally hopeful about its chances to defend last season's conference championship. The Cougars also boast a 1-0 start, adding to the anticipation surrounding this high-stakes matchup between two teams with significant ambitions. This game promises to be closely contested, with compelling arguments for both teams. Auburn showcased remarkable shooting accuracy in their opener, connecting on 56.3% of their field goal attempts and an impressive 45.7% from three-point range against Vermont, a team they dominated on both ends of the floor. The Tigers also held a strong rebounding advantage, outpacing Vermont 43-31 on the boards. Houston, similarly, had an easy win to start their season, converting 58.2% of their shots from the field and a sharp 60% from beyond the arc in their game against Jackson State. The Cougars rounded out their stats with 39 rebounds, 19 assists, and 12 steals. With both teams coming off strong performances, this Saturday marks the first true challenge of the season for each squad, setting up a potentially close and hard-fought game. Auburn faces a significant challenge Challenge playing away from home, but they are well equipped to rise to the occasion. This matchup has all the ingredients for an exhilarating game between two teams with their sights set on championship glory. Auburn enters this season following a year in which they boasted one of the nation's top offensive units. The Tigers finished last season ranked 10th in offensive efficiency, averaging an impressive 120 points per 100 possessions. Although Houston is known for its defensive prowess, Auburn's continued offensive strength is evident as they scored 94 points in their opening 
opening game against Vermont, a team that is no pushover. This weekend's game will be a clear step up in competition for both teams compared to their openers. And while it won't be easy for Auburn, they have the firepower to keep this game close. Given their form and determination, the Auburn Tigers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Both the Cougars and Tigers are adept at stifling opposing offenses, as seen in their dominant defensive performances in their first games, each team holding its opponent to fewer than 50 points. Houston held the top spot nationally in scoring defense last season, and with the addition of standout player Yuzin and more playing time for shot-blocking specialist Tugler, the Cougars look even stronger defensively this year. Auburn, which ranked 63rd in the country in scoring defense last season, also excelled in field goal defense, finishing just behind Houston and returned several key defenders, including Broom, a crucial player in their defensive scheme. Under the guidance of coach Kelvin Sampson, the Cougars follow a simple yet effective formula. They control the tempo with deliberate, methodical play, leaning heavily on their elite defense. Last season, Houston ranked second in the nation in adjusted defensive efficiency, conceding only 88 points per 100 possessions, a stat that underscores their commitment to shutting down opponents. Auburn, too, is no stranger to to defensive intensity, finishing last season ranked sixth in adjusted defensive efficiency, allowing only 92 points per 100 possessions. In their season opener, Auburn limited their opponent to just 43 points, while Houston's relentless defense held Jackson State to 40 points. This game has all the makings of a close, defense-focused battle between two teams that excel on both ends of the floor. Expect a tight contest where each possession matters, with both teams working to stifle their opponent's offensive rhythm. Under the projected total is our full game game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like review, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.